Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back! Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Another king lost, Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half on Jarl now? I've failed him again. These storm clouds of despair will not solve anything, Finir. We need action. What action? We can take the battle to what remains of Ruid's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borg Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We wreck your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a fiat, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruin to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaithford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this reeve a visit. With any help? Ah, my friend, we will remit. You have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Bruit's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two. But your meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off. For Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength and join us for the fight to come. Bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. Hmm. <laughs> 
<gasps> the Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. The horn! It's been so long since I've heard that sweet sound! Praise Are you dying? Over it! I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. The Ovard will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burr Castle. came from Elmenham. Valdis must have got to them. Can we really do hey, this? Finally! we put my long ship to you. Eivor! Word of your act. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. They Edward Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he's not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. Oswald was a man who did not hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory and fight with the same extra courage he showed. For Oswald! For Oswald! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruit's clan once and for all. The brothers' fleet gathered Able. and ready.
You remember the dream I spoke of? You sailed through Helheim on a ship of fire. Here, it may come to pass. Dreams. Life. Maybe they are one and the same. Tonight I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing for the spear din. A watcher alight in the water's wake. Another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruish shit stains will see us coming. Men, we bring Helheim to our enemies. How oh, nice! They greet us with some of their own from the air. Arrows! Great! Odin's hell! The sword mount is taken swiftly. Fighting over a filthy Saxon horse, son! If this swine is your prize, come and uh, get him! Uh. The Saxon horse comes to fight! A miserable clan you need to it! Yes, and one that has bled this country dry for two summers! Thank you. You throw in with these wastrels, these Argir swine? For what? 
A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching skull. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands, to rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That is our way. Eivor, please! Yeah! <laughs> Blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. Speak with Oswald. See if he is well. To the ship. Praise the old father. Oswald! Eivor. Saxon and Dane, we fought well, side by side. If there is to be a future for both our kind, people like you and me will have to change the most to live within it. Even if that makes us uneasy. When you are crowned king, the laws of this land will be yours to decide. All this is... is like a dream. But you are not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. Our wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger of that brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. A bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. What some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Fenir, are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Eivor. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. Thank you. May this feel just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. I told you I would see you crowned. And now here we are. Without you, I'd be dead. Another wasted hope for East Anglia. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win.
I hereby name you man and wife, and as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia, with his Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Stuart. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. You ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king. A metal not unlike your own. To Odin. ...and his endless glories. And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolfkiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept.
Aye, stronger than me. You drink as well as Valdis. Now that I would pay to see. Speaking of payment, where is my silver? Here. Well earned, Wolf Kissed. The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? Estos Freyr, what's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they're aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Have another horn of mead, brother. It's brewed with clover and raspberry, they say. Did you hear what I... Mmm. Yes, it's good. Keep that up. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my pots. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothir. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness me, you drunken lout. Everything an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. <laughs> the Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look, the moon. It moves on trouble now, but one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Well, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinning. this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It has been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I am ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion. Even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, 
I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? To the good king, Oswald! Skull! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Quick! <laughs> you lost. <laughs> It was a beautiful wedding, Oswald. Like you said it would be. Thanks to you, and everything you've done here. East Anglia needed a leader. I simply helped put the right one on the throne. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, great king. I should find Finnir, say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together. Together. I'll gather my things. Greeting. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. <laughs> 